Hey, and welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. So it's my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. This is week number five, The Border, how we brought everything back together. So we're gonna revisit the Catherine Wheel Stitch just very uh, shortly. I love, and I know I'm biased because we are the designers, Jeannie and I both love the border and how it worked out. Um, you can actually really be really quite playful with the colors. We wanted to maximize the amount of yarn for the balls, so we chose the colors based on that. But of course, if you wanna do something else, that's completely up to you. We would love to uh, celebrate your journey with you by the time that you get to the end of this. And today, without further ado, let's head on to the studio and let's get started right away. So let's begin week number five. Week number five is actually a shorter week. So we finished all the way to this point. We're just gonna do this last section. We were very conscious of the amount of yarn balls that we used. So we want, wanted to look at our inventory, what we had left and maximize it. So we used colors that made sense towards you not having to buy more yarn. So you will notice that when we're going to do this. Again, if you have used more colors or you wanna change your colors, that's up to you. You are the artist after all. Again, like before, there is a stitching diagram. You already know what you're doing with this Catherine Wheel stitch. We're gonna get ourselves started. We're then going to do one complete wheel and then and then finish with a half a wheel. And then once we get that done, we're just gonna fill in the space and then just double crochet and then do an X kind of stitch here with your um, single crochet. So that's how we're gonna finish this particular one. This is week number five and this will conclude off your beautiful Better Together Afghan. So without further ado, let's. As we get ourselves started here, you're going to notice that we're going to skip over three single crochets. So if you remember, we're only normally skipping over two. We have to skip over three just in the very beginning to bring ourselves back in balance. And we're also gonna skip the final three as we head into the next corner. So sometimes you have to fan dangle things in order to get things to work and that's what we did here in this round. So the first three and the last three are then skipped over so that you can have the balance for this. So let's begin and attach to a chain two space. and we're going to chain a total of three once we attach. So one, two, three. This will count as one of the group of 12. So just consider this number one and then put uh, 11 more double crochets in there. So to consider that number two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So let's just make sure I have twelve. So counting the first one, so one, two, three, four. I've got to restart that, sorry. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There should be a total count of 12. So with that chaining of 13 plus the other 11 will give you 12. So as I told you, we're going to be skipping over the first three. So the first one is just right here. You might have to shift it so you can see it. So it's 1, 2, 3 and then single crochet into the next. And it's now gonna be how you re remember it from before. So skipping over two only and then you were going to put in a total of a seven of these double crochets into the same stitch. So it's the third stitch away. Then you're going to skip two single crochet and then skip two and then seven more. I'll meet you at the first corner where we'll just confirm how to turn and then I'll see you there in just a moment. So I'm just coming up to the final corner here and it's the single crochet here and we're skipping the final three so one, two, three and going right into the corner. Okay so the corners if you recall have 12 single crochets so you can just start counting those. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that gets you to turn that whole corner. Then just kind of shift it out of the way so you can see the first stitch. 
Okay, so when you're looking at it here, the first one is right here. Okay, it looks like it's hidden. So that's one, two, three, and go to the fourth. And single crochet, and then start what you already know. So skipping two, and then put your seven in, and etc. I'll see you at the end of this round. This is round number 55. So coming up all the way back around, I have a single crochet, and then I'm just going to slip stitch it to the top of the chain three. I was off by one stitch there. Just so you know, us professionals here, we sometimes have to improvise and if something has gone wrong in your project it's good to know that you can improvise if you really have to. So let's just fasten this off and let's move on to round number 56. Okay let's begin round number 56. I want us to start off and we're gonna start off in the fourth one. So this here is the corner so this is the chain. So one, two, three, four and that's where we're going to attach and begin our journey. It's like before just I'm just reteaching you. So just start off. You can just uh, do a standing single crochet if you wanted to or just chain one and one single crochet. You decide what works for you. So chain three. So one, two, three and over the next four stitches you're gonna put four together. So just wrap in the hook. So four double crochet together. Go right up over top of that straggler so that you can get that in a position so you don't have to sew that in later. So you want a total of four of those. So you'll have five loops on your hook once you collect all four. So pull through that and then chain three. So one, two, three and then single crochet into the next. So now we're going to begin the underside of the Catherine wheel stitch because the corner is complete. I will see you on the first corner so that you are turning properly. So to begin again, chain up three and then start collecting the next seven in a row. So the single crochet is the fourth one just as a frame of reference. So start collecting all the next seven. You should have a total of eight loops on the hook. We've talked about that before. Sometimes they don't know if people just jump videos and then they get to this part. So I kind of teaching you like as if you haven't seen this before. So just so you know. So you have eight loops on the hook. Pull through all eight and then chain three. So one, two, three. Single crochet into the next one available. And then do that all over again and you're gonna do that all the way to the corner. So one, two, three, collect the next seven. If you were off by a stitch you can easily collect an eighth one if you had to. Um, you can really hide it in uh, with this because these, these all come together like a pinwheel. So the center doesn't really matter because you'll have only one center so you can collect more than you have to. And don't think that we don't do that behind the scenes. So now you got four on there, or sorry eight on there again. So pull through chain three, one, two, three and then single crochet to the next available one. So please do that. I'll see you in the first corner where we'll turn and just make sure you got it right. So I'm coming up into the first corner. So I've done my halves and then chain three, one, two, three. We are doing a corner only. So the next four in a row will each be collected together, four together double crochet. Once you have that done, you'll have five loops, pull through and then chain three. So one, two, three and then you'll come to the next one and single crochet and then you'll start the next side. So you can see you end up with the point and that's how we end up getting flat again in the end. So one, two, three and then collect the next seven and keep on going all the way around. I'll see you at the end of the round number 56. Let's complete round number 56. So I'm just in the last one and chain three. So one, two, three and I'm going to attach to the first single crochet that we created. So now we're going to do the next one round number 57. So 57 right where we are we're going to start immediately and we're gonna go right into the corner. We've done this before if you've been following along and we're gonna go right to the corner one where these are all put together and you're gonna do 12. So one and 12 double crochets I should say two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and twelve. Okay, so now that you got that one, the next single crochet is where you're gonna single crochet and you already know what you're probably doing at this point. So the middle one here is going to have your seven double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, 
six and seven and then single crochet in the next single and you're gonna do that all the way around. When you get to the corner I'm not gonna take you through the corner again but when you get there just make sure that you do your 12 in the corners and then carry on doing etc. So you'll single crochet, do your 12 in the corner and then single crochet in the next one here and carry on. Let's just complete round number 57 and then we'll move up to 58 next. So I've just come out all the way to the end and when I go to do this next part I'm just going to then slip stitch to the beginning single crochet in which we started and then we're going to change our yarn over. I'm going to do the same color as what I did here and we're going to move on to do that next and basically that's the underside once again one last time and so let's do that and I'll see you back here in just a moment. Let's begin round number 58. So let's go to the fourth one again. So one, two, three, four and we're gonna start up and so this gets us to a flat edge once again. So just uh, join it. You can either uh, chain one and single crochet or you can do a standing single crochet. You decide what is gonna work for you. So chain three, one, two, three. We've already covered this before and then just pick up the next four. And do a four together double crochet. Once you have the five loops on the hook which is the four that you see here, pull through, chain three and then come to the next one and single crochet and then begin to sweep up underneath like you had been before. Okay, so just collect chain three and collect the next seven in a row so you'll have eight loops on the hook and etc. I'm not gonna stop in the first corner for you because uh, basically you've already gone through this before. So just a matter of doing this round and then see me back at, back at the end of this round and then we got two more rounds after that to call your blanket at the end for this stitch long. I'll see you back here in just a moment. So I'm just coming to the end of number 58 and this is it. So one, two, three and then just slip stitch to the beginning single crochet. So now we're going to fasten this off and get ready for the next color and next color is the color A. So it's actually the same as this so it gives it a good framing. So let's do that next. That is round number 59. Let's begin round number 59. I'm just gonna start off with the standing single crochet. You can just do a join if you want to. Chain one and then single crochet. It's up to you. So go into the middle here. It's the one where they're all pulled together. That is your very corner and just pull through. So if I was gonna do a standing I'm just gonna pull through and then pull through the two. Chain two to turn and then single crochet back into that same spot. So you'll do that on all the corners. So it's the middle one that meets those. Just like before in these chain uh, three spaces you are going to apply one single or sorry three single crochets in each. Okay so you'll do that one and then you'll just jump immediately to the next one and do three and you'll do that all the way across. So then when you get all the way across you'll end up with the corner again. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So you don't need to worry about any of these middle spots at all. Just go into the chain three spaces like you had been before. Let's do that and I'll see you at the end of this round, round 59. So I'm coming up to the end of number 59 and I'm just coming all the way back around just putting my threes in the chain three spaces and the corners of course where double crochet or sorry single, chain two, single crochet. Let's just join it and then we're gonna end this color and move to the color D. We got two more rounds to go. Nice and easy. Let's begin number 60 next. Let's continue into round number 60 joining there with the chain two or with the chain two space. Let's just join it and chain three. That counts as your first double and then you're gonna double crochet again and then chain two and then double crochet two more times. So the corners on this one will be two double crochet, chain two, two, do, two double crochet. Starting in the first one we're going to just double crochet ourselves all the way across to the next corner. That's it, just straight double crochets and then turn your corners with uh, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Pretty easy round and you're welcome and it is <laughs> round number 60. Just one more round to go after this. So I'm coming to the end of number 60 and I'm just putting my double crochets in. I've already started with the first corner so don't forget that that's already done. So I'm coming into the very last one here. I'm just taking a quick peek. Oh, I got one more. And then we're going to join to the top of the first chain three. So that will conclude off that round. So now we're going to do with 61 and we're moving back to a different color which is A which will be this color here. So let's uh, do that and do the final round to complete your stitch long project together with you. I'm going to show you two ways. You can decide what works for you. So there may be a debate online whether which way I did it. So um, chances are if you're watching this tutorial you'll have both ways. So 
So you're gonna go in and I want you to do a standing single crochet. So just put it onto the hook first and then go into the chain two space and pull through. So you have two loops and pull through. So we've done this in a way that this is a, a crisscross using single crochet. So you skip the next one and you immediately just come to the second one and single crochet. So it's been written in a way that you have to literally go back to the other one that is right here and you gotta pick it out like this and I know what you're thinking. <laughs> so you pick it out and then you do your crisscross. What I'm gonna suggest to you is that you can do that if you want to but I'm gonna show you an easier way. So you're gonna still skip the first one, go to the second and when you do the first one just go right up over top of everything. So go right into that stitch but when you go in just immediately just poke in and let the yarn just go over the original one like that and it will have a little bit of texture. So in, in essentially the first stitch is buried underneath this stitch. Do you see that? So let's try another one. So skipping the next one, single crochet. So you can either try to pick that out if you want to or just immediately stick your hook in the one you skipped going in, pull through and pull through two. So this will then do a crisscross and you'll notice that it will look a little bit textured as well and this line here will look very defined. So you decide which way that you wanna do it. There's no wrong way and this will then conclude off this uh, particular project. When you get to the corner, the corners are still the same of single crochet, chain two, single crochet and then I'll see you at the end of this round and we'll wrap up your stitch along and thank you so much for joining us so far. So I'm coming all the way back around. I've just done my last crisscross here and I'm gonna just go into the final corner with the single crochet, chain two and then just join to the beginning single crochet and that concludes off this project. So what I want you to do is just if you haven't been fastening off your yarn tails make sure you have been. I've been doing mine in batches. I haven't really been doing it um, like every one of them as I've been going along. So um, but I have been just catching up with myself just because I'm special. So just uh, putting it the last section you want to uh, use the tapestry needle for sure to do the last round because it will follow it on you. I used to not do that many years ago and uh, always kind of regretted it later. As soon as it gets pulled or stretched in any way they always fall out. So back and forth it goes like a three times like I showed you in video number one of this series and that should be good to go. So then you can just safely trim it down, get rid of all your tails and please enjoy. And let's go back outside just for a moment. This is the Better Together Afghan. We have uh, really appreciated you spending some time with us this summer as we've been working our way through this journey. You know what? Life is never just a solo journey. It's about how we're all connected together. And you gotta pick and choose your friends and the people in your life that really bring out the very best in you. And that is better together with my friend Jeannie and I as we continue our, our journey. So even though this Afghan stops, that doesn't mean that we're stopping to be better together, but we're gonna continue. We'd love to see your final Afghans available on our social media. If you use Instagram, please use our hashtags of Yarnspirations as well as the Crochet Crowd. And of course, we wanna see your ideas here as well on Facebook. If you really love this concept, please leave us some comments on, um, on our Facebook and we'll see what we can do next time. And we'll try to be better together with you. Have a good one and thank you so much for joining us. And on behalf of Yarnspirations.com, thank you for believing in us to continue our journey. It's Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as my great friend, Jeannie. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.